when you're a big man, you need a big knife. Or in the case of Stuart Smith, you're a big man that makes big knives. So when I contacted him, I said, Stuart, I need a knife that's my size and not a hobbit sword. He said, Nathan, I've got you. Today is November 16th. Today's the 16th, and we are going to be thankful today for Mr. Stuart Smith. Now, if you don't know Stuart, you should know Stuart. Go and look up his Instagram page and his Facebook page and his YouTube channel. He forges his own knives. He actually takes big steel and makes big knives, and you can see him do that. It's pretty cool. Um, he also makes his own Damascus. You can look and check out this one right here. This is actually a knife that we are going to donate to the Safari Club show, um, and he made this specially for that. Uh, made his own Damascus. Just it's he just makes great stuff because what he does is all by hand. Uh, he doesn't use a whole lot of uh, CNCs. In fact, he uses zero CNCs. He uses a forge and he makes knives and that's what we like about what he does so we met Stuart uh, last year at a cutting competition and he made a big knife it was at least this big for the cutting competition and uh, all of the guys from South Africa there's actually the Randberg Knife Club uh, they all made knives and they were competing to see which knife was the best and Stuart went last his uh, everybody went before him and I don't know if they let him go last because he drew the short straw or whatnot, but he drew the last straw and he was going. And the first obstacle that you get to, you have to cut through a board. And he's cutting through the board. And for some reason, his, his finger, he didn't have a guard on it for some reason. And his finger slipped up and he cut his finger. Put him out of the competition. And if he'd have had a chance to go on through the, through the uh, obstacle course, I think he would have won. It's not just the big blade, though. He also has... Uh, amazing artwork on his on his handle guards he does the hammering on here the polished brass hidden uh, pins uh, he does just a great job he does all the sheaths himself in the United States there's very few buoys in fact we've got these four buoys that we just received we'll put a few up up on the website today he doesn't make hundreds and hundreds of knives uh, in fact, he probably only makes probably five to ten knives a month. And you should look into having a knife by Mr. Stuart Smith. Today is November 16th, 2017, and we're thankful for Mr. Stuart Smith.